Two years ago, Prince Rupert was offered a second option for becoming more environmentally friendly when a new recycling company started up. And since that time, the owner of the company says Prince Rupertites have helped reduce the amount of waste destined for the landfill. CFTK TV's Sahar Nazim Deust has this update. This was eco-management back in 2007 when they first opened up shop after Aaron Bosco and his wife noticed a need for a pickup recycling service in the city after they first moved here. Back then it was a two-person operation, but thanks to more people recycling, eco-management has grown to four full-time employees. We've moved from one small little table in my backyard to you know a recycling shed, a recycling facility. We have a bit of a facility now, as you can see behind me. and. Also, uh, the plans in the near future are to build uh, a double car garage facility, sorting facility, so which will handle, be able to basically handle twice the twice the load that we currently provide. Every plastic head that is made from a recyclable material has the the number sign on it. Um, the number two is basically the end of the life. Eco management started out with 40 residential clients and between five to ten business clients, but that number has also jumped to 100 residential and between 40 to 50 business clients. There is a recycling depot in town that non-customers can use, but Bosco says because his company collects recycling every two weeks and essentially carpools it, there was one less ton of CO2 released into the atmosphere in a year than if each individual household drove to the depot. The local depot receives about 50 tons of recyclables a month, two tons of which eco-management delivers. Bosco would like to remind his clients there are certain products that cannot currently be recycled in Prince Rupert. Some of the materials that are not acceptable still, and it's still, we, we get a lot of it, is uh, styrofoam and those clamshell containers, the, the, the clear plastic that your fruit comes in. Um, is still not recyclable in this town. It's not recyclable in Terrace. It is recyclable in greater greater cities where the recycling facility is a little more up to date. Um, and that's a lot of, stu of the stuff we get. But just due to safety reasons, we, we don't like handling that. Another reminder to recyclers out there, do not include broken glass in your recycling. Bosco says while his clients are not necessarily environmentalists, they are trying to live a greener lifestyle. He says Prince Rupert is gradually becoming a more environmentally conscious community and he hopes his clientele continues to grow. Just a note to all my current customers, I'm so happy that you guys are my customers and uh, keep up the hard work, recycle way more, keep on bringing it to me and uh, I'll take as much as you got. Besides expanding the current sorting facility, Bosco is also looking at the feasibility of starting up a composting facility in order to further limit the amount of waste that ends up in the landfill. He's welcoming the community's feedback via his website at eco-management.ca regarding the idea. For CFTK TV News in Prince Rupert, I'm Sahar Nassim Deust.